I take it I'm live now. Hello, hello. What a lovely evening this is. <laughs> Hope y'all are having a good Segathon. Um, gonna be doing some nice Sonic CD here for y'all. Uh, gonna be going through all the uh, all the good futures. Gonna be getting all of the uh, generators for y'all. So. Uh, should be fun. Should be uh, loads of fun here. <laughs> um, by the way, I, I just want to give a quick shout out to uh, the Sega crew here. Um, they have been working real hard uh, to make sure this marathon has been such a smooth experience for all of us. Um, so... Uh, big shout outs to them. You know, they've they've been real helpful uh, at the very least. Um, just trying to get me set up here. But I was having a bit of a computer issues before, but I think we got things mostly straightened out. So, um, all right, the music. Uh, I would have asked, like, if, if we could have done, like, a poll to see which music we should have done, but... <laughs> I don't know, do folks have a preference? If it's US or, or Japanese? Well, um, if, if nothing else, um, <laughs> I guess I'm gonna... The good music? <laughs> JP, US? I'm seeing more, more JP. All right, let's do this. Um, Grim, you ready for that timer? All oh, right, I, I, I don't think he's gonna be responding. Um, all uh, right, yes. let's. Yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right, all right. Let's do this. Uh, three, two, one. No, that's the back button. Um, okay. Uh, let's try this again. Three, two, one. Let's go. All right, so Sonic CD. I'm sure most of y'all are pretty familiar with this game. For those who aren't, you know, this is the Sonic of the CD variety, released originally on um, the Sega CD. It's got it. its nice slew of interesting things. You get the time travel to... Um, the past, the future, um, you get introduced to Amy, you get introduced to Metal Sonic. Quite a lot uh, gets uh, introduced in this game here. Um, but the real nice thing is that um, there is a feature here that I just demonstrated where you time travel to the past in order to destroy a robot generator. And in doing so, you um, get the good future, which essentially means you destroy all bad nicks in the level. And so the goal of this run is to essentially get a good future in every single stage. Um, so you get to see a lot of, like, interesting routes, uh, lots of backtracking, lots of seeing more of the level. Um, which is real interesting, which is real nice, because, you know, Sonic CD is a game um, that doesn't get as much love as I would say like other um, other Sonics, at least other classic Sonics. Uh, so it's nice to show off like a lot of these interesting uh, other categories here. So um, some of y'all might also notice we're playing the um, 2011 remake. Uh, which introduces a few new things. So you get more updated physics. You get um, the spin dash that's more like the uh, like Sonic Two or Three. Uh, obviously, you get Best Boy Tails here, who is the absolute bestest boy who can just fly over everything. And um, hold on, boss fight. Okay, boss fight's done. 
Um, yeah, he can fly over everything, and uh, because of that, you get to see a lot of like interesting little shortcuts. Uh, and hopefully I can demonstrate that for you all. Uh, so yeah, that was a boss. Um, <laughs> essentially, what you what you just have to do is just make sure you time your your hits. Um, you know, um, he does have a few invincibility frames uh, whenever you hit him, so you just got to make sure you time things right. Uh, but yeah, that was Palm Tree Panic making our way to uh, through Collision Chaos here. Just gotta go on this bumper here. Yeah, I agree. You just, you just fly all over your problems here. Alright, I'm gonna do something dumb. Oh my god, I actually got it. So that's a strat that I recently started doing. <laughs> and I, I was a little nervous about whether or not I would actually do it or be able to do it because it is not the uh, most fun thing in the world, but um, yeah, it <laughs> lets you uh, just get right to that capsule there. And afterwards, it's just a matter of flying all the way to the end. Um, I use the speed from that bumper um, to start flying with that speed all the way to the end. It's Skips are really, uh, not really a fun section of the level, that's for sure. Um, <laughs> all right, going up to Act 2 here. I gotta immediately start flying. The pass sign is actually right down here. So I'm gonna jump on here, keep on running. And um, I'm gonna jump right on top of the robot generator here. Makes it real nice and simple. And so it's just a matter of now time traveling back to the present. Because the present actually has a set of speed shoes. Um, right there. And I'm going to use those. Do a one tap spin dash. Just tapping um, jump once while ducking. And then I'm going to fly all the way to the end of the level here. Um, just a little interesting thing, if you do a one-tap spin dash and go off of a slope, um, like I just did, or any surface for that matter, um, the game treats it as a jump, so you'll be able to just press jump again to start flying. Real nice little tech. Alright, coming up is the pinball machine. All right, <laughs> that w went a lot better than I expected. Um, <laughs> okay, I'll take it. Um, yeah, this boss um, is very notorious. The main thing is that um, the bombs that Robotnik throws down are random. So, um, yeah, you can do everything right, and then a bomb will just not make everything right. Um. <laughs> Uh, but speaking of little skips here, I'm going to do... Uh, 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 oh, that was a little too short. I'm trying to make my way up to the top of the uh, ceiling there. It skips having to traverse a little bit of the level down below. All right. Ah, oh, man, are you kidding? Come on now. Yeah, it can be a little bit finicky. There we go. Beautiful. And now we just make our way here. Uh, the pass sign is actually down this pit right here. And now it's just a matter of going to the right. Uh, so... There is a strat uh, where you can actually use the future sign to time travel. And if you hit a past sign at the very last moment, you'll actually time travel to the past. Um, it's not the easiest thing. I am not very good at it. 
so I don't usually try and do it for runs, but um, it's it's real interesting uh, interesting tech. So. All right, Title Two. This one is actually a pretty neat level as well, because um, the robot generator is actually along the path to the goal. So this is the only stage in the run where both the Any% percent and All Good Futures, the route is essentially the same. So... Just gotta time travel here. Gotta drop down. And I'm just gonna make my way up. And then just made it right there. And you could just make it right to the end. Um, if I stayed in the present, uh, I would have had to hit a switch. Uh, and obviously that's slow, so we try and avoid that. So. <laughs> All right. Uh, coming up is probably the hardest boss in the game. So. I'm just gonna try and, um, I guess, concentrate here. Uh, first thing I want to do is score four hits on Robotnik here. Three. There we go. Beautiful. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Nope. And then, uh, we make it our way to the actual boss. All right, all right. Let's see. Oh, okay. Not gonna lie, I was actually pretty nervous about that. Um, but uh, yeah, that did I mention Tails is a little bit uh, overpowered? <laughs> Just a tiny bit, you know. Um, you normally you're supposed to pop all the bubbles that come out, but you know, with Tails, you could just you know, fly up and just take care of him. It's, it's pretty great. Uh, speaking of great, Quartz Quadrant, there's not really a whole lot that happens here. Um, I, I would say this is the part where we should read donations, but that's the wrong marathon. Um, <laughs> uh, essentially, you kind of, you just want to make your way through the top here. It's pretty straightforward. And then I'm going to do a fancy glide here uh, where I spin dash and then glide immediately afterwards. Uh, just helps preserve my uh, my speed. So. All right. Yeah, this is the stage where uh, if you really want to get a good handle on the tech in this game, uh, doing ILs of these is a really nice way to go. You get most of everything you need to know here. All right. So now we time travel to the past. Then we go up here, hit the generator. And now it's just a matter of making our way to the end. Beautiful. 29, not bad. All right, uh, this, this next boss, um, I like to call the running man. Um, and you will see why in just a moment. So... I'm just gonna make my way up here. Oh. The game was kinda lagging for me there. Alright, and here's the boss. Um, you just essentially sh shred the little platform Robotniks on. So, uh, yeah, n now would be a good time uh, to remind y'all that, y you know, just get up, 
stretch your legs a little bit. You know, helps defeat bad guys like Robotnik here. Um, you you kind of just want to make sure you don't press left. Um, whenever the bombs come down, um, I usually just let go of right for a moment, and then I just uh, start pressing right afterwards uh, just to get over that. So, uh, pretty pretty simple fight. Yeah, I agree. Stretch, you know, stay fit. You know, a nice treadmill, lift your chair, you know. You know, get some nice exercise in. All right. Wacky workbench. Um, I don't like this level. <laughs> I, I adamantly uh, do not like this level here. Uh, yeah, not, not really a big fan of the bouncy floors, if you ask me, but hopefully we won't have to deal with that all too much. Um... Uh, uh oh. Okay. The mu the music didn't start there for him. I was it's, it's getting worried. I was starting to get worried for a moment there. Uh <laughs> All right. Uh, this generator is actually tricky. You want to try and get in these pistons here. That's how you get to the generator. And there's a fast strat here, but uh, for marathon's sake, I'm just gonna fly to the end, because I can. <laughs> I, I have that explicit right, you know? <laughs> Alright. Um, so, the thing about Wacky is that you have to deal with a lot of cycles. A lot of platform cycles, a lot of bouncy floor cycles. And, um, you know, depending on what you get, um, it can really trip you up. So, it's, it's just something you really ought to be mindful of. Uh, for instance, in, the, in Wacky 2, there's a trick I'm going to go for called the Wonder Mega Boing Boing, coined by fellow CD runner. Um... As you can see, I got the uh, I got the caps the generator already. Nice, and that's the Wonder Mega Boing Boing right there. That section, there are a lot of like these poles here that you have to dodge through. Um, you just I just do a spin dash, and you, you're able to just make it through that, <laughs> no problem. So, really, really helps make that section more manageable, you know. All right, um, so now we go to the actual hardest boss of the run, and the one that I am actually really worried about. Wacky 3. Um, so the basic idea is that this boss throws down these blocks here, and what you're supposed to do is jump on them and then wait for the bouncy floor to bounce them back up. Um, but with tails, you can just fly up to them, no problem. <laughs> uh, saves 15 seconds if I recall correctly. Um, it's by far the hardest trick in the run, <laughs> um, but Personally, I think it's also one of the most satisfying once you get it down. Um, so. All right, and then we're heading into Stardust Speedway. Um, fairly relaxed level compared to the past few bouts that we've been through. Um, the nice thing about Stardust is that the robot generators in both acts are relatively close to the beginning of the stage, so all you just gotta do is time travel as soon as you can and then get the generator real quick and then it's just making a beeline straight to the finish which for act one it's just a matter of staying on the top path easy <laughs> uh, 
All right. Act two is a little bit more uh, more interesting. There are a few routes you can take, depending on your preference. Uh, there's also a neat little jump you can do at one point in the level to help preserve your speed. I'm not very good at it, but I, I will I will try. All right. Get the generator. Go down here. And now it's just making a beeline straight to the finish. And if I time this right... Ah. Oh well. You, you can jump off that slope and, and it will let you keep your speed, so... Alright, 35's not bad. Alright. Um, Metal Sonic. He's going to be coming up next. The, the big, awesome race. You know. Um, although, in this version, it's not really much of a race against Metal Sonic. Um, the dude rubber bands like crazy. Uh, <laughs> and even so... Um, you're still racing against... You, you still have to wait for Robotnik to make his way all the way to the end. Um, so this is essentially just a glorified auto-scroller. Um, and I guess I will take a moment to shout out uh, two folks. You know, this game... Again, this game, compared to other Sonic games didn't exactly have the most love back then. Um, so I want to give a shout out to, you know, Flying Fox and Final Flame. In addition to, um, you know, being awesome runners in their own right, it's just nice to have some company um, doing runs uh, with other folks, you know. And if it weren't for their efforts as well, like, CD wouldn't be nearly as prolific as it has been. So, big shout-outs to them. Alright, and with that, we are making it to the final stretch of the game here, Metallic Madness. Um, I'm going to be going for a trick where I time travel uh, from one time zone to another and then get bumped by an object to uh, essentially um, get stuck in the ground. Now let me skip a section of the level. Uh, it's gonna be real sweet and I hope, hopefully I get it. So, so I'm just gonna time travel here. I'm gonna actually get a future sign. I'm gonna need that for later. There's the generator. One, two. Ah, I think I, I went too early. So the idea is that there's going to be a monitor that I bounce off of. Oh, I got it like that. And so I skip having to traverse all the way across uh, that section of the level. Saves, I think, seven seconds. Uh, real nice trick. And again, like, um, you know, in any percent, you just go straight to the goal, so you don't really see a whole lot of those tricks. So this is, it's honestly a really nice category. Um, so coming up here, we got Metallic 2. Here's the pass sign. Convenient set of springs to send us to the past here. And now, it's just a matter of navig navigating these tubes. You just gotta go left when you hit that tube. And... The generator is right there. And so... As Tails, we just fly back up. Hit down to make our way back up here. 
And then we just fly straight to the goal. <laughs> I'm, t I'm telling you, Tails is the best boy. No, no bar, no questions asked, you know. All right. And there you go. Uh, fun fact, in the original uh, Sega CD version, uh, if you try and go to the top uh, of the stage to make it to the end, um, the signpost doesn't spawn. So it's it ends up being a soft lock. All right, making our way to the only the this is the only bottomless pit. I just make it through like that. All right, getting rid of the fireflies. And now we are at the final boss. So it takes four hits. I'm gonna try and do a double hit here to skip a phase. Oh, nice, I got it. <laughs> I didn't think I'd get it because I got hit there, but all right, I'll take it. So that skips him like going to one side. Uh, it saves a few seconds, so. All right. We got one more hit. We stay at the center of the air here to have that come in sooner. And uh, time is coming up in just a moment. And time. Um, I am afraid I do not have the... I do not have a timer up, so I'm afraid I don't know what my time is. Um, but, uh, yeah, that's Sonic CD. <laughs> um, again, I just want to give a big shout out to uh, everybody in the Sonic CD speedrun community. There's an actual community. You know, that is mind blowing to me. 2436. Okay, not bad. <laughs> I'll take it. Yeah, it might actually be a few seconds faster than that. Or actually, I think the timer probably started a few seconds early. Uh, so yeah, it probably is about twenty-four thirty-six. I, I will. I will take it. <laughs> I will certainly take it. Um, so um, again, big shout outs to the Sonic CD folks. Uh, big shout outs to um, Sega crew. Uh, you know, it's nice to see a bunch of Sega folks finally coming together and making a real impact to the speedrun scene. So I'm, I'm glad to see it, you know. Um, big shout outs to... Uh... Actually, I don't know who I'm, I'm shouting out now at this point. Um, maybe I'm just tired. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Uh, it's been a long day. Um, actually, yeah, no. Um, Special big uh, shout outs to Booster here uh, in chat. Uh, I, I know he's been messaging me. He's been wanting me to get into the, uh, these events for a while, and I just haven't had the time. So I, I thank you for for this opportunity at the very least. You know, like um, I am an old fart in the community, in the speedrun community. Uh, been around since the SDA days and whatnot, so I, I worry that, you know, um, I might get burnt out from this sort of thing. Um, you know, might be old hat and whatnot, so I, I'm glad to see that I'm able to, to still find friends, you know, who are willing to stick around, so thank you for the support. And uh, with that, I'm going to get sleep so sorry sorry for cutting you off Grim <laughs> you, you deserve it Sonic U thank you so much for that excellent Sonic CD 2011 run really love the Tails category it's it's such a good category and if you're looking to run the game you know um, there is the classic Sonic speedrunning discord um, there are a bunch of folks there who would be more than willing to help get you started um, so yeah uh, I, that's pretty much all I got. So again, I'm Sonic Star, 
Um, you can find me here on Twitch. Uh, exactly as it's spelled on screen there. And... Uh...